Ashes of Creation recently concluded its month-long Alpha 1 test that ran from July 14th to August 15th. I gave my first impressions of the Alpha 1 a few weeks back, but this is a follow-up video where I take on some world bosses, partake in a castle siege, look at the attention to detail in the world, check out some new melee combat changes, and take to the skies on a flying mount. This video has no sponsor, but if you want to support the channel and plan on playing Ashes of Creation one day when it's eventually released, then click my referral link for the game in the description below. Back with some more Ashes of Creation Alpha 1 for the month-long non-NDA test. I've re-leveled back up to, or well, this time level 12, so I can participate in some castle sieges, which should be happening in about an hour or two. Let's take a quick tour of the node. Something I noticed popping up yesterday were these buildings in construction after we successfully voted for a mayor. Let's look inside some of the buildings of this village stage node though just to get an idea of the attention to detail this building's little chapel go up to the door press e to open it we can pray to one of the ashes of creation deities in here over here we've got a house if we click on this we can buy it as a real space player house costs 25,000 gold go inside get an idea of the details got a bit of furniture and stuff in it as development goes on i'd imagine all of this furniture would be interactable like you could sit down and stuff lay in bed it's all very picturesque isn't it i'd love to own this house it's got a well outside space for some plants lots of nice pieces of attention to detail different layout from the previous house as well always been a big fan of real space player housing in mmos oh there's a little space for maybe some farm animals out here as well so this is another building it doesn't seem to be a real space player house or maybe i'm wrong maybe i just haven't seen the sign this one's trashed inside yeah this house is absolutely wrecked so perhaps this house becomes nicer as the node levels up i'm not really too sure what the purpose of this one is yet Maybe it's just placeholder. But yeah, to get to the point, every single building in the nodes of Ashes of Creation will be buildings that you can actually go inside and will actually have a function. Like this is the town hall. Go inside here, the mayor can interact with the desk to set the tax rate. Places to sit down and have political meetings. The thing I like about having every building serve a purpose and to be something you can go inside of and interact with in an MMO is it helps create a sense of immersion and it also adds a lot to the RP factor. Imagine being a role player in this game, having your very own real space player house inside of a city and your friends can just come and visit and everyone sees that house. Come to think of it, I can't really think of too many MMOs that have real space player housing in cities. Land for rent. Oh, land for sale. We need to be mayor to build here. Oh, this is the caravan shop. Quite a beautiful looking node considering it's only a village stage. There's another three stages after this. Town, city, and then metropolis. So if this is what a village node looks like, I can't even imagine how vast and sprawling a metropolis node is. Jump on my flaming fox mount. Got a tree to chop down, give it a whack. I wish I could turn the nameplates off for some nice picturesque screenshots. But unfortunately, there's no function for that in this alpha. Just the kind of river I'd like to do some fishing in. Oh, my character's frozen. No, just random floating stars. And we caught a fish. Not sure if those stars are supposed to be like that. It looks a bit weird. Despite the game being in alpha, the swimming mechanics already feel better than the swimming in Black Desert. Although, literally any game has better swimming mechanics than Black Desert, to be fair. Giant castle in the distance. I don't think this is the castle that we're going to be sieging later on, though. Just bypass all the mobs on mounts. They've probably got to fix that, haven't they? Yeah! Come on, dog. There we go. I'm pretty sure for full release, you won't be able to just sprint through a raid, skipping all the mobs on your mounts. So this is going to be my first Ashes of Creation raid. Here we are. We gather for the boss. A few T-poses there. Some of these players are looking pretty cool. Have some badass looking capes. <laughs> Player collision's pretty intense in this game. So this one has 49k HP. With the amount of players we have, that's probably not a lot. Okay, let's go. Big damage on the dragon. Oh god, the lava raptors are spawning. I didn't even realise. Okay, big AoE laser beam. Oh, we're all taking a lot of damage. Healer's doing big heals. This thing 
I can actually t I can, but I'm dead. Level 10 rare halberd dropped. That dragon did not last long with 30 players attacking it. So once the dragon's dead, let's explore this place. People are just killing the ads. Is there an exit over here or something? Okay, we're gonna go do another boss. Saxel leading the way. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Alpha. So this is the Under Realm. I've actually got a quest in here to kill this monster here, Sorrow's Hunger. As you can see, super vibrant. The colors really pop. If you just stand still, the flowers are actually changing color. Lots of bioluminescence and stuff. It's like a disco, but for nature. After we kill this thing, apparently we're gonna go fight a spider boss. Sorrow's Hunger, let's go. Yeah, we're making very quick work of this boss. Harry Potter wand action. Kite the boss around. Looks cool though, doesn't it? Let's give it a big laser zap. Big damage. And it's dead. Good fight, Sorrow's Hunger. Jump over this. Okay. Oh, this is the Brood Queen, is it? This one has... 869,000 health. The thing I just killed earlier, Sorrow's Hunger and the Worm, they were like eight player party bosses. This thing is an actual raid boss. Lots more health. Look at all of the wands going off. There's projectiles everywhere because everyone's playing a mage because it's OP. Harry Potter and the Spider Octopus. Frame rate seems to be holding up decently well. Probably the most colourful boss encounter I've ever seen in an MMO. Someone asked Steven, how much colour do you want for this boss fight? And he just said, yes. Oh. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, we got a res. Brilliant. It's taken a long time to bring this boss down. Let's get a better view of all of these projectiles going off. Hopefully I won't die. Look at that. Zap, zap, motherfucker. Big damage. Dead? Hello, are you dead? Are you dead? Dude, that thing is fucking creepy. Look at that. Okay, G GG. Today I'm just going through some quests in Ashes of Creation, seeing if there's any cool ones that stand out to me. This quest's cool. It involves a bit of jumping if I go in the water here. I take big poison damage. Once you're on the other side, you also need to do a bit of a jumping puzzle. Fans of Guild Wars 2 would certainly like this kind of quest. I've already done one of these in the wetlands, and it was pretty fun. At the top of each of these rock things, there's like a shrine that I need to interact with for the quest. And there's like a jumping puzzle on three different maps. Here it is. Interact with that. This one here seems to be the third jumping puzzle. Let's check it out. So jump up here. Jump the gap. Jump. This one seems pretty easy. Jump. Oh yeah, that one's super easy. Not even a jumping puzzle really. So this is what I don't like about staffs in Ashes of Creation. Look at that. Why are staffs melee? It doesn't make sense. Realistically, no one is ever going to use a staff if this is what a staff is. Mages don't want to use a melee staff because it's just stupid. So everyone's just going to be using the tome and the wand. This is probably placeholder though. I hope it is because I really like using staffs in MMOs. Well, if they're ranged attacks anyway. I wouldn't use it if it was melee. So today's August 16th. I've just logged back into the Ashes of Creation Alpha 1 servers as there's been a few updates. Most notably, there's been a melee combat update. So we can actually try out the new uh, melee combat swings versus the old ones. So this is how the combat used to be with melee combat. It would kind of root you in place and your attacks would move you forward. However, they've allowed us to press this button and toggle between the two modes. So the new way allows you to swing your weapon and have free movement. I already much prefer the new system, having that freedom of movement. It just feels a lot better. Today's the last day of Ashes of Creations Alpha 1 and in a few minutes we're all going to get boosted to level 15, get a full set of gear and partake in a big castle siege. Someone's got the name Caspian. That's quite amusing. I bet that's Kira TV. 
100%. I'm going to send him a screenshot. Game's lagging a bit. There's quite a few players around. Siege has started, okay? Take me to the battlefield. Let's go. My first time participating in an Ashes of Creation siege. Take me to the walls. I suppose we want to go to a control point. Okay, that's a lot of attackers coming in hot. It's an AoE down. Big damage. Everyone's just playing a bloody mage. <laughs> Oh, look at all of the defenders. There's loads of us. Kill this healer. Nice. Burst him down. Good job, team. There's another one here. Zap him. Big damage. Give him the zap. Pushing in. Action target mode really feels terrible on the mage. It's kind of unplayable. Probably better to just stick with tab targeting. Looks like the defenders are pushing them back. The game's running surprisingly well. It's just a little bit weird that when the enemies die, their red nameplates stick around. I'm guessing that's a bug or something. Hit him from the side. I haven't died yet, so that's good. Let's drop my AoE over here. Big AoE. Oh. Come on, hit something. Okay, missed everything. Oh, there's a lot of players. There's a lot going on. Come on. I'll chase him. I'll chase him. I got him. Nice. Good job. And another one. Stunt. No. Oh, he's, he's off on his mount. Okay. Oh, nice. This is going to be a perfect place to drop some big AoE. We need to move fast. Ready? Big AoE. Come on. Right on their heads. Big damage. I, I got dragged somewhere. Okay. Teleport. Oh, lag. I'm dead. But I did, I did big damage before I died, though, so I feel good about that one. Oh, there's Steven. What's Steven doing? Oh, so it looks like we're pushing into the attacker's camp. Drop some AoE. Drop the AoE. Teleport out. Big laser beam. Oh, zap him. Zap him down. Big damage. I think we got him. Yeah, this is pretty fun. Oi, 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 oi. Run, run, run. And we're dead. I don't really like how you need to talk to these NPCs to get through the gate. Perhaps there could be a better way of doing that. Maybe you just go up to the gate and press E. The scale of the castle is quite nice. Kind of goes into the mountain, giant dwarven head. Very nice. This is a, clearly a dwarven style castle. Are they on the walls? Oh my god, they're on the walls. What are you doing on the walls, sir? Oh my. Oh, we're going to go fight the dragon. That's the dragon, is it? Very nice. I thought he was resetting aggro. Oh. <laughs> You can pull him pretty far. How far can you pull this guy? Run. We're being hunted. Large force inbound on the gates. Zap. Big zap. Don't mind me. I'm a sneaky mage. Oh god, there's loads. There's loads of them. We're behind enemy lines. Push out with the team. We've got the dwarf. We assault with haste. We hit them hard from the side. Let's come and get ready to drop the big AoE on him. Big AoE, here it is. Come on, big damage. Yes, there it is. Teleport out. They've actually done a bit of damage to the gates, to be fair. Big zapper. Oh, he clapped me at the last second. Prismatic beam ability kind of sucks on elevation. Look at that. Dragon in the background flapping his wings. I don't know if people are fighting him. I, I guess so. Drop the fireball on him. Nice AoE. Teleport. Oh, we've been flanked. That's not good. We're about to get big damaged on. Run. Mount. Run. Run! <laughs> okay. We made it out alive. Good job. Oh, okay, yeah, we're doing damage with the catapult now. Oh, big damage. Alright, oh, we should probably hit the actual their catapult. Oh, we blew it up. Nice. Look at that. Wow. I hit one person. Laser zap the choke point. Kill this healer. I mean, it's very impressive for MMORPG alpha standards. I can say that much. Oh, look at this guy. Okay, you're a clever one, aren't you? Nehelion. He's right on top. He's solo in the gate, the absolute madman. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Steven's attacking the gate. Steven's the raid boss. <laughs> 60 of us all just zerging Steven down. Like, can we teabag him? Can you crouch? I, I, I don't... 
There you go, Steven. Oh, the dragons summoned fire dragons around, has he? Are people actually fighting him, or is he just here taking an interest in us? Yeah, okay, dragon. Oh shit, they've actually almost taken it. Um, okay. We've kind of descended to chaos. I don't really know what's going on right now. <laughs> It's a little bit of a clusterfuck on my screen. Oh, that's a lot of AoE. And... Yeah. I think we're dead. We lost. GM Toast managed to capture the throne control point. <laughs> there was only three minutes to go. I've spawned into AoE and lag. Zap. Nice, we got a world PvP kill, let's go. What fun things am I gonna get to play with? So this is the Death's Hand cosmetic. Look at that cape. I appreciate games with long ass capes and really nice cape physics, especially as someone that likes to play a mage. I'm looking forward to testing out some really badass robe sets in the future. That's a bloody cool mount though. Look at the animation on that. He's like half owl, half silverback gorilla. What a creature. We take to the skies. Like, let's get a good look at this node from above. For full release, flying mounts are going to be incredibly rare. There's going to be like 10 per server or something. So definitely going to be a thing of great prestige. Fly down into this rock and try out the griffin mount. Recreate that scene from Harry Potter. Where he's dry. Oh, no, we fucked it up. Recreating that scene from Harry Potter where he drives the griffin near the lake. Oh, everyone's getting their own flying mounts to test out. I think they're all lining up for it. <laughs> that's cool. So I guess that's going to wrap up my coverage of the Ashes of Creation Alpha 1 test. Got to see pretty much everything I wanted to see and overall very impressed by MMORPG Alpha 1 standards. I guess we'll check back in for the next testing phase when there's been some more combat changes and new content. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my coverage of Ashes of Creation Alpha 1. It's still way too early to give any kind of pros and cons for this game, and I can't see a full release until at least 2023. But for a first alpha test, it was pretty good. Obviously combat is the biggest thing they need to get right with this game, and it's nice to see things becoming less static and more free-flowing than what they developed previously. On its current trajectory, I can see the combat being really similar to Guild Wars 2 when it's finished. I think the action camera mode will end up being an optional thing you'll likely toggle for casual content. Currently, the tab targeting mode just feels a lot better. I think that's the best we can hope for with the combat system anyway. So what do you think about Ashes of Creation so far based on the alpha? What changes would you like to see and what do you think they need to do to further improve the combat? Shout out to Exit Lag for improving my ping for this video and click my referral link down below if you plan on playing Ashes of Creation one day in the future. Social media links on screen. Thanks for watching. I hope you all had a successful day and I'll see you again really soon.